Hello everybody, my name is PureHot1777 here and welcome back to Mario Kart DS. For this episode, I will cover the Banana Cup. So, 100cc as usual. I am going to be playing as Toad, TJ's best and favorite character. Shout out to Mario Sonic Forever. I'll use the standardized cards this time because I haven't used one in a while. So let us take another stroll through memory. So let us take a stroll through Banana Cup. I'll probably not explain much of the course anymore since it does take up a lot of time and it is pretty obvious. And explain for retro courses. Let's just go. So first up is Donut Plains 1. This course makes its third appearance, like SNES Super Mario Circuit 1 did, I forgot to mention it. It appeared in Super Circuit as well as an extra cut. So this course, his lap has changed to three laps instead of five. Um, <clears throat> there is a you can't fall on the bridge anymore um, And there's three shortcuts here, but um, There's only one there's only one that I can see at the moment, and it's kind of easy to explain um, Like other shortcuts mean is like mean means like cutting through the track Like with the mushroom by like cutting through the grass train. But since I have a mushroom here I can actually show you the shortcut and Mario is just like, what the hell? He's like all the way up there. And sorry, I'm just like focusing. Okay, here's the shortcut right here. It was actually pretty obvious to see. Pretty obvious to see because in the original, it had the same thing. And I definitely need to catch up here. God damn it, Yoshi. I can't even see him because he's invisible. But yeah, there's really not much to explain on this course. Um, Donut Points 2 hasn't actually made an appearance in Mario Kart game, in any future Mario Kart game. Donut Points 1 and 3 has appeared, but 2 has yet to make an appearance. Well, it was in Super Circuit, but still, it has yet make yet to make an appearance. Damn it, like, damn it, Peach Hole. Why is she all the way back there? I have no idea. Okay, that actually went pretty good. Okay, here we go. So, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so on to the next one, which is Frappe Snowland. This is almost exactly the same thing as it was in N64. Um, the only difference is it's a little bit easier to control. Um, I mostly forget that this is in the DS because. I think around the time Sherbet Land from N64 was more noticeable because it was the Wii version. Because I played a lot of the Wii U. Not the Wii you the Wii version. God damn it, Mario. See, this is why Toad is the best character in, in the game. Um, you don't. Even though he does tell you that the princess is in another castle, you at least get the job done, so we're, we're glad to tell you all, all that we know, Mario. You just need to save us from Bowser. Because, you know, we do a lot more than what you do, Mario. We, we actually give you stars, actually. So, And we actually give you one-up mushrooms, so be glad that we give you all that. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Um, this, this one is... This one is like pretty much the same thing. Except that it's easy to, you know, control. So, you know. Um... It, it, um, the slippery ice, like on the road, like the snowy road, it's not different because it's not an icicle road like it is in Sherman Land. The only trouble I see about this course is the snowman, which that not much different because in the 64 version it was the same thing. And it's easy to actually get through it because the course, if I play Snowland in 64, is a lot slippier, slipper. Slip here. Why does that not make any sense? It was more slippery. Not slipper. Or whatever the hell I said earlier. God damn it, the, I, the game will give me a fake item box as soon as a red shell approaches. Did it die? Did Mario just. Did he throw it at his brother? Oh, that probably. Oh. 
Okay, that really slowed them down big time. Thank you, Bowser. Even though you kidnapped me in the old Mario games, I do not remember if you do or not, but thank you anyways. See, like I meant, like TJ mentions a lot, Toad is the number one best character. I shouldn't say that because there's many other characters out there that are shit. There's many other great characters out there. But Toad is, you know, he's the man. He's the best, like he says in Mario Kart 64. Um, I fear Mario's gonna come up behind me. Uh, I wanna. Okay, good. Oh! Wait a minute. Don't hit me on the side. Please don't. Wait a minute. Did the Rothschild hit the wall? Oh, is it too late for him? Yeah, it's too late for him. Yeah, it was too late, so that wasn't that difficult. Um, <clears throat> so we're in, we're in a good lead here. Let me check the camera still recording. Okay, camera is still recording. Making pretty good progress here. So third, we, next one we have one of my favorite long courses in the game and in the Game Boy Advance version, Bowser's Castle 2. It's funny how this one is in the DS and it is in, in uh, Mario Kart 7, but you know, I love this one. The only difference about this one is that the um, the jump jumping across the gaps is actually a lot easier than it was in Game Boy version. A lot harder. I don't remember. It once again, it's been a damn it, Bowser. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's actually a little bit. Uh, it might be a little bit harder because the gaps are actually a little bit wider. No, actually, the jump. You, you, uh, well, in the Game Boy Advance version. Of this track, um. Oh wait, no, it is actually a lot easier for you to make those jumps than it is in the Game Boy Advance version. The swamps are easy to dodge here because they're, they're kind of easy to dodge. So let me turn the music up because I don't think I turned it up at all. The music's a slow pace here. Quiet. I don't know. Oh whatever, it's a video game. It has that good, awesome music, though. Too bad this is the only time you get to hear it in the game. Wait, what? I had a mushroom and a mushroom? What? Oh. Guess I wasn't paying attention, but oh well, the blue shell got both of the brothers gone. We're actually making pretty good progress here. Yeah, I don't have that much to say because, I don't know. Just, I'm more focused on the game than I am the, the progress. <laughs> the only problem, trouble I have is Mario and Luigi just following me. Everyone else is like so far behind in Peach. She's she's not having a good time. It's funny because her rival, Toast rival in Super Mario Kart is Peach, but she's not doing that good. And I actually like Peach. She's my number one character in my number one princess. So in Nintendo, I have other favorite female characters, but she's my favorite in the Nintendo, in the Mario universe. Anyway, um, there is actually a way you can jump higher on these. I wouldn't risk it because if you actually jump at the wrong time, you can actually fall into the wrong. Oh wait, never mind. That that jump right there, that's actually a little difficult to make because you can't make that jump. I actually think you can with a mushroom and a star man, but I would not risk it because I do not want to fall onto the lava in the final line. But that was it. That's what time is it in the video? It's like. Only nine minutes. Getting through this pretty quickly. And we finally we have Baby Park from the game from Double Dash. This course has been nerfed a lot because it's five laps, not three, not seven. Although I love this one, but there's not that much chaos here. And also, the only design I see is the Koopa um head back, the Koopa Funhouse back there, but. That's it. That's all the difference I see. Everything else is just the same. Well, the roller coaster is, is missing. It, it, it just doesn't look like a theme park, in my opinion. It just looks like, uh, I don't know. Well, then again, it's, it's, it's DS graphics, so, you know, you gotta get, give them a reason here, so, you know. Hey, at least they made a ret it made a return appearance, so, because I love Baby Park and Double Dash. And it made a return appearance in Mario Kart 8 for the DLC. 
Nice try, Luigi. I gotta remember that this is five laps and not three laps. I'm trying to get rid of Luigi because he's getting close up to me. I may have to switch to the small map. For some funny reason, Bowser seems to be driving a lot faster than I do. Oh, crap. You're making no, no! Whoa! What happened? I'm serious. What happened there? I thought I was gonna lose because the blue shell appeared right before I crossed the finish line. Did, did Luigi get hit by, her, by him or something? I wasn't paying attention. I have to look back on the video about that, but I was only 11 minutes. Wow. That went by quickly. But that is it for Banana Cup. It wasn't that much. I didn't explain that much. It's like this. This went by a lot quicker than I thought it would, but this cup is one of my favorites. You'll probably see it in 150cc spoiler So stay tuned for Leaf Cup and see what else nostalgia has in store. Take care and good night to you all.